Hey all, uh, in this video we will see how to restart services in WebSphere environment. Know about complete course, uh, you can refer to my previous course, uh, previous videos. I have created complete course related to WebSphere. So in this session we will see just about restarting services. So well, uh, right now whatever you are seeing is a cluster. And so to restart uh, these service, these are called as uh, JVMs. This can be called uh, this can be called as JVMs or else application server profile or else simply profile. Um, so you, you can call all with all these names. So in short, so if I have to restart this service, there is a prerequisite. So if you navigate further, you can see node agents in system administration. So this service should be up uh, to restart um, uh, your JVM. So just for the test purpose, let me stop one node agent. Okay. So well, so I have stopped this node agent and now you can see uh, this is node 2. And uh, you can directly access your JVMs here. See, the corresponding services related to node 2, they are uh, showing us down. Okay. So I said one of the prerequisite uh, to bring this service up is node agent and then there is uh, one more uh, logic point here. So node agents, so the prerequisite is node agent, the node agent, node agent service should be up and, and uh, one more important point is you can see here you don't have option uh, to start uh, through console. So if you have to bring the node agent service, you have to start through the console mode. So let us see how to restart service through console mode. So if we go here. Uh, uh, you can, if, if it is installed in Linux, you can navigate through command mode. So architecture would be same, logic would be same. I'm explaining on Windows. So my WebSphere is installed here. And and again in the real time you would you will have profile only single profile in each server. So it's being my laptop, I'm having multiple profiles. So earlier I have stopped uh, this corresponding node agent of this server. So I should navigate to the bin. I have already navigated. Yeah. So I am navigated to the bin and the command to start node agent is simply start node and if you want to stop node you can just type stop node so I'm clicking on start node so well I'm starting this node agent in the command mode so let me revise whatever I have said so to restart your JVM the prerequisite is node agent should be up and node agent can you can stop it through console but if you have to bring it up uh, you can start only through uh, console mode so I have showed using start and stop command. Yeah, I have showed using start and stop node. Okay. Now, so now let us restart JVM. I'm having cluster. So this status is showing it. I'll troubleshoot it later. So in general, in your real time, you would be having clusters. So here. So this service, uh, what I want to say is uh, this node is this node is showing up why because it's corresponding node agent, node agent is up and even server is up that is why it is showing green. And here since the service is still coming up it is showing as a question mark. Maybe once it comes up it will show shows as green. And uh, okay, so now let us uh, go ahead and uh, see how to stop this. Uh, JVM through command mode. So to command mode it's simple you can just click on it and then click on stop. Okay. So I clicked OK. So let me refresh. The service would come down in a while. Okay, see it's showing down, showing cross mark. So I, I just want to 
to hear few more things. Earlier, if you, if you have observed this uh, service, it was showing question mark. Why? Because only node agent was down. So it was uh, not, not able to uh, get the status. So that's why it is showing question mark. And once node agent comes, uh, came up, it is showing as green. So here, uh, I have stopped the service of JVM. And well, uh, JVM is down, but the correspondence node agent should be up. So it is up. Uh, I'm sorry if I can't, uh, sorry, I don't want to pay, I don't want to confuse you. So whatever, whatever uh, we have done is uh, we have restarted node agent, we have restarted uh, JVMs. So we have restarted uh, JVM through console mode uh, still now. Okay. Yeah, so to revise, we have restarted a uh, node agent and we have restarted a uh, JVM through console mode. So now I just want to show you, or you can you do the same thing through command mode. So I, I, if I want to bring this uh, JVM, I can uh, start through uh, console mode, but again, as I said, the prerequisite is correspondence, corresponding node agent should be up. So we have seen earlier, the corresponding, no, corresponding node agent is up. So uh, let us restart uh, this service as well. So it is node 3. So files. I have already navigated node 3. Yeah. So I am in the bin of uh, profile 3. And the command to start uh, JVM is start server and the JVM name. Uh, similarly, you can use stop server and then keep the jvm name so i press the enter i press the enter command so well it will come up so to revise nothing uh, I, I have just showed how to restart jvm the prerequisite uh, to uh, restart uh, node uh, jvm is the correspondence corresponding node agent should be up and node agent can be stopped through console mode but you can start only using uh, console I repeat, node agent can be stopped using admin console, uh, but uh, if you are, if you have to start it, you can start only using command mode. So yeah, we have seen commands uh, to start and stop uh, node agent, and then uh, we have seen commands to start and stop uh, JVM. So again, uh, you can see my earlier video about how to configure clusters and how to federate nodes to the um, nodes to the deployment manager. So on the whole, uh, what I want to say is, uh, so this whole environment, it is configured in uh, admin console, I mean, sorry, deployment manager. So as I have showed you uh, about uh, node uh, restarting uh, applications server profile or is a JVM. And um, so these are called uh, JVMs. So these JVMs are uh, federated to deployment manager. So through deployment manager, we are accessing uh, this uh, JVMs. So what I want to say is, uh, you can uh, start and stop deployment manager using uh, stop manager and start manager. That thing can be done only through con uh, command prompt. So okay, let me navigate. So this is a deployment manager. So in this deployment manager, we are having these two JVMs. So in this deploy manager, we are having these two JVMs. So till now we have restarted these two JVMs. So if you stop this deployment, deployment manager, you cannot access uh, this admin console. So the console which we are accessing, you cannot access uh, this admin console. Yeah, we are already in this deploy, deployment manager bin. The command to stop is stop manager. Yeah, so we have seen how to start and stop a uh, deployment manager. So I have showed how to stop. If you want to start it, you can just use use start manager. So we have seen how to start and stop a uh, deployment manager using start man stop manager command. And we have seen how to start and uh, stop node agents through admin console and through command prompt. And we have seen how to restart uh, JVMs using command mode and even using admin console 
yeah and uh, there is a final method uh, you know uh, the same thing if you want to access if you want to do through vas root but uh, uh, that's i just i'll just give you the command maybe you can do some r and d on that so i just made all these uh, things in a single note uh, so here so you can consider so you would be knowing uh, this in the web sphere architecture uh, this root is called vas root I mean this path is called vas root and this path is called profile root so, so I have showed you all these commands and uh, in the same way you can just use this command also server status it will just give the status and uh, yeah so we have done these things so here we have used JVM names uh, start come start start server stop server and we gave the JVM name we have used uh, these commands but instead of start and stop we can use server status and get the status of the JVM as well. So this is the one command. And I have showed you vast root profile root. Why? Because the same command uh, you can I have showed you running through profile root. You can run the same things uh, from vas root as well. But the only prerequisite is if you run the command from vas root, you should give the profile name. You should give the profile name and then give the JVM name. Well, if, you, if your architecture is having multiple profiles, uh, you can use this, but this is just knowledge purpose. So you can run the commands through vas root as well. I have showed you how to run the commands through profile root. Uh, you can do some R&D. So I give the command, uh, if you want to run through vas root, this is how the syntax would be. You, you have to just add profile name. So you should just have the profile name and then give the profile name. And you can run the commands from vas root. So on the whole, uh, it would be a little different if you run the command from vas root and it would be a little different if you run the command from profile root and I have showed you the command how to run through profile root and well uh, so this is the syntax of uh, admin console uh, I have showed you how to uh, how to restart services to admin console as well so this is admin console port and this is a I mean instead of localhost you can keep the host name where uh, the deployment manager is configured so host name colon port admin console port of deployment manager and slash admin I mean this is the syntax uh, to access admin console so even to admin console you can restart the services and um, yep this is about uh, restarting services uh, so if you have any questions or any doubts uh, please uh, keep in the comments so that I can clarify the doubts and uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you will be getting more videos in your future and uh, you can go through my previous videos where I have explain about complete administration course and thanks for thanks for watching this video take care bye bye